Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to create custom login and registration page in WordPress. So let's just begin. So the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugin and click on add new plugin. And here we have to install two plugins. So the first one is essential add-ons. All right. So the second one is user menus. Okay. So we have to install this. Click on activate now. And also I need to activate essential add-ons. All right, so let's click on activate. All right, so now what I need to do, I will simply go into the pages. All right, so here I will basically create the two pages. So the first one will be the login page and the second one will be the registration page. Okay, so let's click on add new page. So I'm gonna do this for two times. So the first one would be for the login and the second one would be for the registration. All right, so I'm gonna write down login here. Now let's click on publish. Now we have to click on edit with Elementor. All right, so the first thing I would need to do is to go inside the setting because I want to remove the header and the footer on the login page. So I'm going to simply select Elementor canvas and the page layout. All right, so now what we need to do, I simply have to write down login here and you will be able to see login and register form. So this element is basically by the essential add-ons. Okay, so that's why we need to install that. So let's drag this and put this here. So right now I want you to have the login form. So as you can see here, the form type would be the login and we can also convert this into the registration and the lost password as well. All right. So after this, we have the second option to hide all the forms from the logged in users. Okay. And after this, we have the redirect for the logged in users. And after this, we have the login form general. So I'm going to simply click here. So in the login form general, we basically have a show logout link. So if you want to enable this, you can simply enable this. Or right, so you can also see here, we have show lost your password. So if you want to enable this, you can simply do this. And we also have the other options here, as you can see here. So let's click here. And in a similar way, we have lost password form general. So you can simply click here. And if you wanted to enable Google, Recaptcha, you can simply do this, but right now I'm going to simply disable this because we will need to have the API keys for that. So let's just disable this. And after this, we have a submit form via Ajax, but that is a part of the pro version. Okay. So after this, we have the form header content. So let's click here. And in the form header content, we have the form header image and we have the form header logo. So I'm going to add the form header logo here. Okay. So let's just click here. And I will simply select this logo, click on select and you'll be able to see the logo here. All right. So if I wanted to change the image resolution, I can simply do this from here. And after this, I have the form logo position. So if I wanted to change the position, I can also do this and we can also enable this logo on the lost password form. Okay. And if you wanted to add the login form title, you can simply do this here. And after this, we have the login form subtitle. We have the register form title and subtitle. And you can also see the other options here as well. Okay. So now we're going to click on the login form fields. So in the login form fields, we have the labels and the placeholders that are basically default. And you can simply change it to the custom if you want to. So let's change this to the custom. So if you wanted to change the user level, you can simply do this. And if you wanted to change the password level, we can also do that. And in a similar way, we can also change the placeholders as well. Okay, so I'm going to go here with the default. And we also have the password visibility icon. So if you want to have this icon, you can simply have this. But if you don't want to have this icon or the password visibility functionality, you can simply disable this from here. Okay, and after this, we have the button text. So that is login right now. So I'm going to simply convert this to sign in. All right. And after that, we have the login form options. So let's click here. So in the login form options, we only have a single option that is redirect after login. Okay. And after this, we have the social login. So in the social logins, we have the two options, but those options are actually the part of provision. And in the last, we have the validation messages. Okay. So let's click here. So you can see these validation messages from here. And if you want to customize the values, we can simply customize it from here. Okay. So now we're going to go into the style. So in this style, as you can see is we have the journal, we have the login form header, we have the form fields, we have the form labels and we have login button. So right now I want to change the width of the login button. So let's click here. 
All right, so the first thing that I would need to do here is to change the button width. So that would be something 350 px, or maybe we can go here with 340. All right, so 300 px is good, and also I can change the button height. And we also have the border radius, we have the background type, and we have the text color. So I would like to change the background type. So that would be a kind of dark green color. So let's click here, change the background here. So this will be a kind of dark green color. And I would also like to add the color on the hover effect. So let's click here, click on the classic and we'll basically change the color here. So let's go here with a kind of light color, maybe this one. Okay, so this is looking great. Or it's now you can also see this, we have the typography, we have the justified content, display is. So you can play around these values here. And right now what I need to do, I actually want to change the width of the logo here so let's click on lock in form header so in here i would actually like to customize the form logo so let's click on form logo and the width would be kind of 100 percent so let's see all right so now this is looking better and i can also change the value of margin pairing and the other values here so let's just add some padding here so this would be maybe 10 px okay so now this is looking great so let's just see what we have next so we also have the title we have the title typography and subtitle and the typography and you can also see the other options here okay so after this we have the form fields so if i just click on the form fields you can see this we have spacing typography text alignment and we can also see the other options here as well all right so this is how we can basically create the login page right now i want to put this into the center so i just simply click here on the container and this would be full width and the one thing that i need to do i have to change the height here so first i would like to change the unit so that would be viewport height and i will use 100 here and now i would like to put this into center okay so now this is looking fine so let's just update this all right so now in the similar way i would basically create the registration page okay so let's go into the new page here write down registration here and click on publish click on publish again now let's click on edit with elementor first i would like to change the page layout so that would be elementor canvas all right so now we're gonna add login or the register form again so let's drag this and put this into the container all right so this would be the register form so let's change the value here into the register and now you can see this, this will be the register form. But before that, I need to do one thing. I will go back into the WordPress dashboard. And here I have to go into the settings and go into the journal. And here I have to enable one thing that is membership. So I have to check this and click on save settings. All right. So now just simply go back, update this and refresh the page. Now you'll be able to see our register form. So let's click here. And you can see here we are having the similar kind of options so let's just disable the captcha and i will basically add the logo here so that would be the same logo all right and after this we actually have the similar kind of options nothing new here but we do have the register form field but that would have the similar kind of options so if you wanted to increase or decrease the number of form fields in the register you can simply do this from here and after this we have the register form options so in the register form options, we only have the new user role. And after this, we have register user email option. So let's click here. Uh, so that would be the email template type and register admin email option. We have the same option, email template type. And in here, you can see this, we have the WordPress default or the custom. And after this, we have terms and conditions. So if you want to enable the terms and condition, you can simply do this. And you can see this, we have terms and condition here. And if you wanted to customize the validation messages you can simply do this from here okay and now what i need to do is we have the similar kind of options so we don't need to go into the second so let's go into the style i would try to put our logo into the center so let's click on register form header and here we would have the form logo it will be the 100 percentage so let's just change it to the percentage add the 100 here and i would also like to add the padding that would be the 10 px that is looking great and after this we have this the register button and register link here so let's just click on the register button and i can simply customize the register button from here 
but we have the similar kind of options just like we had for the login okay so now i'm going to simply click on update so we basically created our custom login and register form okay so now we're going to go back and now what i need to do i have to go into the pds into the menus and if i just open up our store here okay so now what i need to do i have to do two things here i have to add the custom links so the first one would be login all right so we have to get the url of the login here so let's click here click on view page all right so now you can see here we can't see the login form here that is because we are already logged in so that is why we can't see the login page but if i just copy this and put this into the new browser so let's go to the new browser and put the url here now you'll be able to see our login form so now let's just go back into the menus and we'll basically put the url there click on add to menu now we have to add the registration link so let's click on register here go into the registration click on the view page copy the url from here so similarly since we are already logged in so that is why we can't see the form here so let's go back and put the url here add to menu all right so now we need to one thing here i would basically add my account here and i would basically put the register inside of it and also the login inside of it and also i would like to put the checkout and cart as well so that will also be inside my account all right so now what we need to do here since the register and the login is only for the one who is not logging or for the one who haven't created any account so i would basically click here and you will be able to see the option of who can see this link okay so we have to enable this for only one who are logged out user and also for the login one too so let's just change the value here to the logged out user all right so for the checkout and the card it has to be the logged in user okay logged in and also the card for the logged in and from here i can also choose the rows which can see this link so right now i'm gonna simply keep it like this and click on save menu and now when i just click on my store here now you'll be able to see my account here so in my account i only have the checkout and the card right now because we are already logged in but if i just copy this link and go to the new browser put it here now you will be able to see register and login so if i just click on the register you will be able to see our registration form and if i just go back and click on the login you will be able to see our login form all right so this is how we can create customized login and register form in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel